so first let's create a free body diagram of the situation. We have force mg downwards. So let's list our values. Mass is equal to capital M, since that's a variable we're going to use. Radius is equal to R. And velocity is what we are solving for in terms of capital M and lowercase r. So we know that sum of forces equals mass times acceleration. We only have force mg, so we get that mg is equal to mass times acceleration. We can divide both sides by m, and we get that acceleration is equal to gravity. So gravity is equal to v squared over r. Then v squared equals gravity times r multiplying both sides by r. Then we can square root both sides, and we get that velocity is equal to square root of gravity times radius, which is also equal to gravity times radius to the one half power. So b is the correct answer.